Blanket. Welcome to Smoky Goodness. As the title indicates, we're gonna plank some pork chops today. Be really good. Let's take the tour. Stick around, Herb. Why so fast, Mr. Smoky Goodness guy? This is why there is a storm, a big storm. Well, not really a big storm, but let's say there's a substantial change in the weather coming really soon. It's actually on our heels right now. We're in the 40s, upper 40s, low 50s right now. It's supposed to be windy and down into the uh, teens and 20s here within a, an hour or two. So, gotta get this done quickly. Let's meet our contestants. First, from the rocky, lava-laden soils of Idaho, these are baby Dutch white potatoes. Courtesy of the soil from who knows where, a couple of onions, we have a basting pan. We have some roasted raspberry chipotle sauce. If it's got four short stubby legs and a curly tail and says oink, this stuff goes really well on it. A couple of yummy, delicious looking center cut bone-in pork chops. All right, not shown of course. A couple of cedar planks which are still in water inside. They'll be out here momentarily and we're ready to go. By the way, the charcoal I'm using may look like charcoal briquettes, that really famous company, that famous brand, but these are not. These are Stubbs charcoal. I want to call them briquettes, but they're not really briquettes. They're 95% uh, hardwood, and I think they're bound. The binder is like a 5% vegetable binder. It's all natural. Got a good woody flavor. We don't use charcoal briquettes much anymore, especially from that uh, big K brand. You know what I'm talking about there. This is our uh, pseudo briquette of choice nowadays.
Smoky Goodness barbecue is so good that even the squirrels in the trees are fighting each other to come down here and have a taste. Nothing better on a Sunday afternoon than pork chops grilled over uh, cedar planks. I'm just about speechless. And fish? That's fish? Yes. And some uh, honey buns or cinnamon rolls. Stick around, Herb.